$5.99, and two-fifths carat studs are $1.99. The Jewelry Exchange has thousands of rings, bracelets, pendants, and earrings guaranteed to appraise for double. That's right, double. Some restrictions apply. Plus, no interest for six months. By factory direct and save, the Jewelry Exchange in Sudbury, 978-443-0550. That's the Jewelry Exchange in Sudbury, or online at jewelryexchange.com. The stock market has reached new highs recently. Is that exciting, though, or worrisome? Hi, Rick Edelman here. If you're trying to figure out what to do with your money in savings, investments, and retirement accounts because of what's happening in the Dow, I know your dilemma. You want to know if you should stay out and watch it go up or get in and make it go down. Well, here's the good news. Investing doesn't have to be a right or wrong predicament. Instead, ask a question you really can answer. What are your goals? Are you saving for college, retirement, a new boat? Whatever your goal, it's your goal that determines how you should invest. At Edelman Financial Services, we can help you figure out your goals and give you a plan to help you achieve them. We've been doing this for 25 years for more than 19,000 clients. Get our investment management services online at rickedelman.com, spelled ricedelman.com, or talk with an Edelman advisor at 888-PLAN-RICK. That's 888-PLAN-RICK. Advisory services offered through Edelman Financial Services, LLC. Securities offered through Sanders Morris Harris, Inc., an affiliated broker-dealer. Member FINRA, SIPC. WBZ News Time at 2.17. We have got sunshine. 51 degrees is the temperature right now in Boston. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Macklin. Here's what we're following in the WBZ Newsroom. The victims of the Boston Marathon bombings and the people who helped them be remembered today. And church services and ceremonies around Boston and across the nation. Cardinal Sean O'Malley celebrated Mass at the Cathedral of the Holy Cross. It was an outdoor service today near the site of the bombings on Boylston Street, at the corner of Berkeley Street, not far from the marathon finish line. Mayor Tom Menino defending the decision to lock down the city of Boston all day Friday, telling ABC's this week that it was for everyone's safety. And he said everyone in the aftermath of the bombing did a great job. An FBI interrogation team now headed to Boston to speak with the bombing suspect, uh, Johar Sanayev, who remains hospitalized in serious condition. But right now, doctors say he remains unable to communicate because of the nature and extent of his injuries. Amtrak service between Maine and Boston has resumed. The rail service back on yesterday and had been suspended after the marathon bombings. The manhunt that followed passengers who had tickets when service was interrupted can receive a refund or a voucher for future travel. Once again, the whole world was watching and thinking of Boston. Thousands of runners took part in today's running of the London Marathon. CBS's Vicki Barker reports. Born in a Russian orphanage, raised in Baltimore, Tatiana McFadden was in the attack. She won the women's wheelchair race there, and she did the same again in London today. I don't know that if we've been doing last day of remembering those in the second fire. This year's London Marathon began with a moment of silence for the people of Boston.